Hello and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today having a look at a demo of a reboot of a cult classic franchise. This is KO the Kangaroo, uh, a new demo of which is available now. The game released at some point in the summer of 2022. Now, KO the Kangaroo, for those of you who don't know, and I wouldn't blame you for not knowing, is a franchise from the year 2000. This is the fourth installment. There has been a side spin-off on the PSP as well. Uh, we've had KO the Kangaroo, which was released on PC and Dreamcast with uh, a follow-up or a port on the Game Boy Advance a year later. And KO2, which was on Windows, on PS2, GameCube, uh, and Xbox. And then the third KO the Kangaroo came out in 2005, and that was just on the PC. So um, you would be forgiven for not having played one of them previously. Now, I haven't played this demo. It's free for you all as of today, I believe. And I uh, have received the copy fairly early. So I think we're just going to dive into the demo and see um, what this forthcoming game looks like. All right, here we are. K.O. the Kangaroo. K.O., uh, a very clever name for a, uh, a punchy, a punchy kangaroo. All right, here's our buttons. I forget all that. Let's, um, let's just dive straight into it. There he is, old K.O. No one saw? Yeah, that was lucky. Wouldn't want that on Rootube. Rootube. Okay, search for the Terra's lair. Jeez! Where's the rest of you? Work in progress. Old and mystical method. Spirit walking. Awesome! Okay, so... Big 3D collectathon. But now... Focus. Find the Terra. Find the Terra. Not sure what diamonds do. Not sure what the currency's for. I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, look. A thing. A thing. Right, what else? Have we missed anything over these ways? Yes, look at this. Looks pretty nice, got to say. I am um, a lover of all things 3D platformy and mascotty. And being of the age I am, I kind of grew up in this kind of uh, domain. Hello, who are you? Bomb. I've got a bomb. So, some destructible crates may contain a nasty surprise. Okay, then. Uh, he's he's warning me of a bomb. Run away! Don't follow me. Why are you following me? Boom. I like that. That was a nice little touch. Um, yeah. Said, said boom. Alright. Oh, is this a bouncy platform? No, it's a semi-cut-down tree that... I'm going to use this to try and get up on that platform there, I think. Can't do it. Okay. Nay bother, as they say. Oh, there's a little bear trap. Did I get everything up there? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's navigate. So you've got double jump from the off. It's not something we have to achieve. Oh, look. That's a springy. Remember, this is a demo of a forthcoming game, so, um... <laughs> I mean, that wasn't going to work, was it? That bouncy platform that didn't do bouncy. I'm a bit disappointed about that, but... Hey-ho, I'm not going to be able to get my 100% by the looks of things, because I can no longer bounce up there. Doesn't matter. I digress. Ding. Tail attack. So use the tail attack with A and X to hit objects that are higher than KO. All right, let's try. Ah, I see. Right, okay. So, oh, cutscene. Stinker. Good name for an antagonist. And he farts, right. So, there we go. And he gives us hearts. So what I'm actually going to do... I don't need that heart. I'm actually going to go back here because I believe... Oh, maybe I can jump on these bubbles. Oh! Hey! Didn't need that bouncy pad after all. So look, you can see there there's a, a thing. Are these really spring pads? No. <laughs> I don't like that. It makes me uncomfortable. 
Oh, hello. Okay, I guess I can't fight him. Let's uh, jump over here. See. All right, that's out of bounds. I'm, I'm trying to break all of the rules. Oh, look, you can go in here. Isn't that nice? All of the monies. Thank you, please. What happens if you smash up chairs and that? Not much. I want to go back and get this just because of my uh, desire for collectibles. Right. Did I get it? I got it. Alright, we're doing good. Let me know uh, in the comment section below. Just uh, leave a diary of your thinking as you're watching this gameplay. Um, don't wait for my assessment of it at the end. Just... Just go for it. Oh, piss. Be aware that there might be dangers in crates. Wasn't aware, wasn't thinking. What's this thing down here? Hoverflies? I mean... Um, what are they called? Uh, fireflies. Hover. These things are nasty little cretins. I'm going to have to go back here and leave me alone. Let's just see if I actually... Yes, I achieved 100% of the coins there. Let's go up this way to see what is yonder. Oh, I think this is just right to back to where I was. And I just got absolutely hammered. Ding dong. Let's jump down here. Cutscene! Frogster. I haven't got any lives. Leave me alone, you bumhead. Oh, that was weird. So I pressed punch and it auto kind of locked on to the guy, even though I was... Uh, Super move. So... I see that little bar underneath my hearts. It seems to be some kind of uh, super move gauge. That's good to know. Lots of destructibles in this house. Honey pot. Nothing. Cages. For jumping on, perhaps? No. For destroying? Also, no. I hear bubbling. Don't know why. A lot of uh, sort of clipping issues so far, but it's a demo of a, uh, a long way off game. So I'm playing this now in, uh, where are we, February, and this game isn't due for release until summer, so um, summer in England being around June, July. So we've got a long way to go still for some development. Oh, we have letters! So I'm assuming there are three letters per stage. Yes, as you saw there, KO. Oh, can we look in the... Uh... No. It's a it, perfectly serviceable game so far. Just a few little miners to iron out. Let's go down here. Boom. Coinage. Absolute coin fest. Cool. Oh, moving platform. Nice. Did I go up here? I kind of went up here, didn't I? Yep. Okay, another door with which we can do some exploration. Punchy bag. Just so you're aware, I'm playing this today on a PC. Um, this is kind of in max settings graphically. Uh, I've pumped it to 120 frames per second just because seemed like a nice thing to do and um, yeah it, it all looks perfectly perfectly fine oh you big goon we can use that spinny to actually uh, further our jumping these gloves really helped me give those frogsters a smacking I don't see what the fuss is about they're just normal gloves what is his accent is it sort of normal? Canadian but with a lisp Mr. Beaver out of this. 
Hey, what is that thing? I thought I'm just I'm oh, baffled by his accent. It's not me. No. Oh, we could not suffer listening to that boring old fart for a moment longer. So it's true. You really are corrupted. We do not know each other, and yet you are already insulting us. Maybe we shall get along after all. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, and so shatter our hopes once more. So sweet. Oh, well. I am the Eternal Gloves, and what you see before you is the Eternal World. Right. Okay, search uh, for Terra's Lair. We have the Eternal Gloves. Uh, so I'm assuming my gloves are corrupted and evil now, and the world is corrupted and evil, and my gloves are some kind of guiding uh, force with which to do destruction and death and misery and... How do we get that without... Maybe I've just got to jump. Like what? Ah, I see. Quite the clever mechanic, are we? Right, so you punch the purple things and things show up. Right. Oh. Right. Within some kind of... Yes, I see. Invisible platforms. So I've got to be on it like quick smart like this you see you've got a little timer above KO's KO's little ears boom see look at this okay so is this the um, this is the uh, guiding guiding principle of this game maybe the eternal glove what's this your dad did not. Not once. They chose me. You overestimate. Do not. Sounded a bit yodery there. You are alone. I cannot enter. Jealous? <sighs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think the voice work could do with a little work. Um, if that makes sense. What was this? I, I spoke to him. Oh, here. Hit the stone head and grab an eternal throwing boomerang. Stone head. Alright. Hit the stone head. Grab. Oh, look. Because, obviously, Ko being a kangaroo, that makes him Australian. And everyone knows Australians um, have uh, boomerangs. So that's their weapon of choice, right? Uh, must admit when I've been to Sydney before I went to a tourist shop and I purchased uh, an apparent original Aboriginal uh, boomerang however why does he have some sort of Canadian accent if he's Australian alright now what I've got this can I batter this fishy? Oh, balls. Alright, well, that didn't work so well, did it? I'm just going to have to avoid him. Or oh, do this. Oh, that that bouncy pad works. Because of course it does. Shall I go back and get the boomerang? That's not actually eternal. It's a one throw. One throw thing. Can we get behind there? No. Off we go. Alright, well that was a bit crap. Just gotta be quick. <laughs> what? What is happening? I don't even know. Range Frogstar. I guess they can throw things at me, as seen there. Alright. Here we go! Let's do this. What are you saying, brother? Tail attack. Press X in the air to deliver a tail attack. Alright, fine. Let's have a look. Well, we, we, we already know about that attack. I thought you were going to tell me something new. Some new method to use my tail. But no, incorrect. You are not good, my friend. Be gone and do death on you. Sparked him. Oh, and I picked up a scroll of sorts. 
Have I just bailed out of the uh, area? Whoa, what is... What are you, Mr. Spider? Yeah, I think I've... I'm not meant to go this way. I think I've progressed. Oh, poop. Oh no, maybe I am meant to go this way. What is this? Locked. What is this? Available in final game. Okay, okay. We're not meant to find out about this because this is just the demo. That's fine. I didn't want to know what that was anyway. I'm not in the slightest bit intrigued. Another scroll. And some monies. Some monies. Lots and lots of monies. I thought I hit that spider, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Right, now we're going this way. I kind of want to go and destroy this rock band over here because I don't like the music they're playing. Come on, get up out of the water. Oh, no, I drowned. You can drown, apparently. Now I've got to start all this again. Right, let's... um. Yeah, you can't, you can't swim in the green. Let's give this one more go before we uh, call time on our demo uh, play. Do I have to do everything I did before? Or do I get to keep the stuff that I had previously? Let's go and have a butcher's. Find out. So you can actually touch the green, but you've got to bail out of it very, very quickly. Right, it appears that I have collected all the things I got before. So that's pleasing. In we go. Punch your place up. Kind of semi-reminiscent of Zelda smashing pots. Not sure that the, the, the sound effects are keeping up with my coin getting. It, the, the kind of, there's some background noises do, 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 that really reminds me of Back to the Future. I kind of like that. Busy. Da, 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 da. Are they dead? Now what? I play the drums. No, I can beat the drum. Do you get it? It's a, it's a joke. I don't know what the coins do, but I've got so many of them. Let's have a look around and leave via the other. There we go. Right, where to? I guess up here. Good old yellow markers denoting what you can climb on. A staple of video games for like the last 10 years. I wonder if uh, who the first company is going to be to change up. Oh, uh, that routine. And there's a fire spitter now. Oh, look, it's a, it's a spitty fishy. Oh, that door's blocked. I don't know why I'm still persevering with the coin getting. Ignore. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. A trap of sorts. Look at this. Okay. Ah, yeah, water. I drowned. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Am I meant to destroy that fish or are we uh, ignoring him? Let's go in the house. Money! Significance of a swordfish? Hmm. Wow! It's a homing missile! 
go. Boom. And what is this? D. Why is it blue? What does that mean? Oh. It's a guiding trail of coinage. Hmm. Hello, what is this? Ooh. Secret entrance! I could probably go over there, but I've started to become a little bit afraid of water in this game. So I'm going to go up here instead. Uh, or am I? Yes, I am. No, I'm absolutely not. And I'm going to call it a day there. This is uh, K.O. the Kangaroo, the Summer 22 reboot. This is the free demo, which is available, I think, from today. Um, today being the... Uh, Monday the 21st of Feb. I'm actually recording this on Wednesday the 16th of February. So uh, that's why I'm getting a bit confused about my dates. Let me know what you think about K.O. the Kangaroo. This demo that you've seen here. I'm not sure how much further I can progress in the demo. Possibly this entire level. But so far a pretty you know, run of the mill platformer. With a couple of problems to iron out. Um, but uh, it shows that it's fairly capable. And intriguing to a certain degree. Um, will I be picking it up? Possibly, just for the full nostalgia um, factor, uh, and I do enjoy a 3D platformer. Also, I enjoy trophy getting and um, achievement getting, so maybe this will be uh, a fun one uh, in that respect. Let me know your opinions in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Until the next time, see you later.